So you know that insulin prevents lipolysis, right? So why does it activate lipoprotein lipase? Let's understand. It's very simple, yeah. See, hormone sensitive lipase is present in the adipocyte, okay? So it helps in the breakdown of stored triglycerides to free fatty acids and glycerol. And these fatty acids are then used for energy production, okay? And obviously, if there's a breakdown of something to produce energy, this is happening in the fasting state, mediated by catecholamines, glucagon, etc. What's not present in fasting state and what is an anabolic hormone is insulin, so it inhibits this process of hormone-sensitive lipase and prevents fat breakdown or lipolysis. Now, what happens with lipoprotein lipase is that synthesized in adipocytes and myocytes, it is released into the surrounding where it goes and anchors in the luminal part of the capillary endothelium in the surrounding. And when there are chylomicrons and VLDL, which have these triglycerides within them, passing through the lumen of this capillary, lipoprotein lipase helps in breaking them down to free fatty acids in this localized region with the help of apolipoprotein C2. These free fatty acids now diffuse across the endothelium into the underlying adipose or myocyte tissue. In the adipose tissue, they are re-esterified back from free fatty acids to triglycerides so that they are used for storage. And in the muscle, they are oxidized for energy. So essentially, insulin here is promoting fat storage even though it's acting in favor of a lipoprotein lipase which causes lipolysis. Okay, bye.